NumPy or Pandas, keeping array type as integer while having a NaN value. Is there a preferred way to keep the data type of a NumPy array fixed as int, or int64 or whatever, while still having an element inside listed as numpy.nan? In particular, I am converting an in-house data structure to a pandas data frame. In our structure, we have integer type columns that still have nans, but the d-type of the column is int. It seems to recast everything as a float if we make this a data frame, but we'd really like to be int. Thoughts? Things tried. I tried using the from underscore records function under pandas dot data frame, with course underscore float equals false and this did not help. I also tried using numpy master rays, with nanfill underscore value, which also did not work. All of these caused the column data type to become a float. NAN can't be stored in an integer array. This is a known limitation of pandas at the moment. I have been waiting for progress to be made with NA values in NumPy, similar to NAS in R, but it will be at least six months to a year before NumPy gets these features, it seems. This URL. This feature has been added beginning with version 0.24 of pandas, but note it requires the use of extension dtype int 64, capitalized, rather than the default dtype int 64, lowercase. This URL. This capability has been added to pandas beginning with version 0.24. At this point, it requires the use of extension dtype int 64, capitalized, rather than the default dtype int 64, lowercase. In case you are trying to convert a float, 1.143, vector to integer, 1, and that vector has nas, converting it to the new int 64 dtype will give you an error. In order to solve this you have to round the numbers and then do a snipe int 64, My use case is that I have a float series that I want to round to int, but when you do, round still has decimals, you need to convert to int to remove decimals. If performance is not the main issue, you can store strings instead. Then you can mix them with NAN as much as you want. If you really want to have integers, depending on your application, you can use minus one or 0, or 1,234,567,890, or some other dedicated value to represent NAN. You can also temporarily duplicate the columns, one as you have, with floats, the other one experimental, with ints or strings. Then inserts asserts in every reasonable place checking that the two are in sync. After enough testing you can let go of the floats. This is not a solution for all cases, but mine, genomic coordinates, I've resorted to using zero as NAN. This at least allows for the proper native column type to be used, operations like subtraction, comparison etc. work as expected.